Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today, what we're gonna do is we will derive the quadratic formula. So that is the x equals negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4acl over 2a. So before we derive the formula, so first shout out to the following people. Clarence Gerans, Tim Paminats, and Alvin Tiger Hillis. Guys, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and continue to support my match tutorial videos here in YouTube. So we're gonna proceed now to the derivation. So how do we derive the quadratic formula? So first and foremost, we must know that the quadratic equation is an equation which is uh, in second degree. So degree means it is the highest exponent. So it is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c such that a is not equal to 0. Okay? So from the quadratic formula, from the quadratic equation rather, so we have ax squared plus bx plus equal 0. We need to show that x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So if you've already heard, there's a quadratic song. I mean, there's a song regarding the quadratic formula, the negative b plus minus square root of b squared. So what if you're asked, how do you derive the quadratic formula? So we will derive it by using completing the square. So first and foremost, so we will write this as ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Next step, so from the general equation, so this is the general equation of a quadratic um, equation. So from the general equation, what we are going to do is we will divide both sides by a. So multiply both sides by a. So we have x squared plus b over a x plus c over a is equal to 0. So next, how do we uh, proceed with this? So we will apply addition property of equality. So what will happen is that we will uh, add negative c over a to both sides. So what will happen then? So we have x squared plus b over a x is equal to negative c over a. Next, we will do completing the square. So, how do we complete the square for the left side? So, guys, so in completing the square, so what you need to do first is to divide the linear term, the coefficient of the linear term by 2. So, that is b over a divided by 2. So, that is divided by 2. So, this is just simply b over a multiplied by 1 half and this is b over 2a. And then, you square this one. So, once you square this one, you will add the result to both sides since uh, we need to neutralize the left and the right-hand side. So, we're just gonna make the left-hand side a perfect square trinomial. So, that's right, guys. So, what we're gonna do is x squared plus b over a x plus the square of this one. So, the square of this one is equal to b squared over 4a squared b squared over 4a squared is equal to negative c over a plus b squared over 4a squared then we know that this side is a perfect square trinomial so this is equivalent to x plus b over 2a quantity squared so get the least common denominator so the lcd will be 4a squared and then 4a squared divided by a, that's 4a, multiplied by negative c, that's negative 4ac, plus b squared. So, extracting both the left hand and the right, and the right hand side of our equation, so getting the uh, square root, so that is x plus b over 2a is equal to plus or minus square root of this one, since we extract the root. So, that should be plus or minus on the right side. So, it will become plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. As you can see, I just rearranged them. I just uh, let or have first the positive sign and then the negative sign. All over the square root of 4a squared, that is equal to 2a. And then, uh, ad applying again addition property of equality, so we, we will add negative b over 2a to both sides, we have negative b over 2a plus or minus square root of 
b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and then just combine them you will now have the quadratic formula so it's just simple i'll repeat so um we have a run through so first step from the general equation divide both sides by a and then subtract c over a to both sides so it will become negative c over a so and then multiply one half to the middle term and then square it to perform or to complete the perfect squared trinomial so we have x squared plus b over a x plus b squared over 4a squared is equal to negative c over a plus b squared over 4a squared and then x plus b over 2a quantity squared is equivalent to negative 4ac plus b squared over 4a squared so x plus b over 2a is equal to plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and then subtracting b over 2a to both sides you will now derive the quadratic formula so thank you so much guys for your, for your constant support and i hope to see you on my next match tutorial videos have a great day and keep safe to all of us since we are encountering such pandemic uh, as of the moment. So God bless us all and see you in my next uh, videos. Bye-bye.